This is our toy poodle, Ella. And as you can see, she's quite hairy and hasn't had a clip in some time. Uh, we're going to give her a clip today. Here I'm using um, a number 10 blade on the clippers. And uh, I'm going away from her head towards the tail area. What I'm attempting to do is get the worst of the hair off first because she is so hairy. And of course, prior to this clip, she was uh, washed and conditioned. Um, and I found that conditioner, a dog conditioner, helps the blades go through a lot um, easier, makes a much more pleasant experience for the dog. Of course, the dog has to be completely dry before you start the, the clipping. As you can see, um, she's playing up a little bit. Uh, some people and dog groomers have special harnesses that they uh, put the dog in to help with grooming. I've never used one. Um, usually she's not too bad, but she is being filmed today and she can see my husband, so she is um, playing up a little bit. You can see now that even though you're going away, you know, from the head to the tail, in certain parts you have to change direction. That's all some of the hair that's come off Ella, which is looks more than her, doesn't it? And the clipper oil that we use on the blades and the blade wash. So clippers. Now, here I'm cutting Ella's fringe. Um, I use a pair, um, some scissors and uh, you comb the fringe down and then cut across. And with the ears, I comb the ears out completely. And then, you know, with your, um, with the hair between your two fingers, then I snip across. When you um, are doing the ears, just measure that you've got them even after you've trimmed them. That's what I'm doing there. You can sort of see you. You know, you get a good idea of if they're pretty even or not. Now I'm doing the top part of Ella's head. Um, with this, we're going to comb the, the hair sort of towards yourself. That's on the side there. As you can see, and I'm putting it between my two fingers and then using the scissors to trim it across. And you can adjust this to um, whatever length you're, you desire for your dog's style. I just keep going until I think she looks nice and um, but you could do anything you wanted I suppose. Here I am on the other side just getting that hair, combing it and then between the two fingers and then snipping it across. There's quite a bit of um, excess hair here too because um, she has not been groomed in quite some time. So I'm just getting rid of as much as possible because we have a very hot, humid climate in Queensland and that's going to be coming up very shortly. Some of the equipment that I've used today. It's quite a messy uh, thing to do in some respects but... Um, definitely worth worth um, worth doing but here I am tidying up the um, coat just to get any of the little bits that I might have missed and she does she's um, going to 
play up here, having her ears done because she's being filmed, of course, <laughs> and Poodles are very intelligent. So, but it is important to get that hair out of their, um, inside their ears. You'll have ringlets um, growing out of their ears. Sort of, we've never had um, touch wood, an ear infection with Ella because I've always kept her ears um, free of hair. And there's a special little tool that you can use um, that helps in that, uh, similar to a tweezer type of thing. Here I am just getting some of the hair away from the ear, just so you, I can have a better vision and um, see inside the ear a bit. It's not, this makes it a bit easier. I'm just doing her little tummy. I'm going the other way this time um, simply because she's standing up and you might have to adapt how you you trim your dog um, depending on your dog and, and their behaviours. That's what I've basically done with Ella. For example, when we clip her feet, I do that on my lap because I have better control and it's just a whole lot easier. Here we're using a, a number 10 on the face just to get the worst of the hair off. And you can see I'm sort of holding her face to, so I've got full control of where she's going to put her face. Just watch uh, when you're clipping the face that um, your dog hasn't got its mouth open, just in case. I've got the small up blade on now and see how I've turned the, the clipper blades over? That gives you more control as well and you can do into the areas um, underneath the eyes which often gets very dirty and um, covered with um, oh, muck and stuff like that. So if you can keep that hair free, um, it's much nicer for your dog. And we're just doing between her eyebrows, which you can do with these little clipper blades. They're very handy for tricky areas and toy poodles are very tiny. So um, you sort of need something small. I use the same blade when I'm doing her feet, um, which will also have ringlets growing out of them if you don't remove the hair off the feet. And that can become quite dangerous if you don't do that. They can slip and dislocate a hip or, you know, something worse. A lot of um, positive reinforcing is good with Ella. Um, some people use treats with their dogs um, to reinforce the positive, but I just tell her she's a good girl and she's doing well and, and speak uh, softly and um, gently to them while you're clipping them. That really helps. Ella has very long eyelashes, as you can see. I, off, I try and um, preserve those because I think they look very cute. That's the advantage of, with clipping um, the dog yourself. You can do any style you like, um, and there's lots of um, different ones. You can um, find various 
um, books and things like that that have different styles that you can try. I find just the basic um, clip is good for Ella. And here she is finished. Um, very happy that she's um, had her clip. I'm going to go and show her sister her new hairdo.